Shout out to all my active military and my uh, veterans, especially, man. Today is the anniversary of the invasion of Normandy, D-Day. One of the biggest military invasions in, in military history. Um, I really appreciate our veterans and everybody that protects our freedom and our interests. Um, whether I agree with it or not, the, the current result that we have is one hell of a thing. And, you know, there were a couple of world wars where men, tons, tons of men, hundreds of thousands of men were, were drafted. And uh, even more, way more was like, I, I went in on that. I drafted or not. I, I'm trying to get me some. And they went ahead and, and they handled their business. People would be like, I'm gangster. Are you this gangster? Are you this gangster? Watch this. And after this, are you still gangster after that? You know, that's the question. That's the real. I mean, I, for for America, for my family, I know I'm still gangster. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that people realize that how easily this can happen and how how you need to be ready to go there because our freedom, freedom costs. We could do a lot in this country, and there's a reason why. Because we put it on the line. Come ride with me. Like, imagine that moment, you know, at that point, I feel like training would have to take place, you know, we have to take over in that situation, because like, once you hear a couple bullets whiz past you, and other people start going against their training, aka panicking, it would be so hard not to panic, but you you know what time it is, but ah, uh, I can't imagine, like, these, these, when is the last, I haven't seen a war, like, that even looked like, look how many boots are on the ground in this, in this freeze frame, like, just one-on-one, -on -one, head on, chin out, no drones, none of that. sky turned into jellyfishes oh that's all you see is umbrellas look how many bodies that is bro oh my god oh that's so many soldiers just raining above where you live wow we got to respect our history man like i'm gonna have to show my son this this is reality this is real. Shoot, Ukraine going through that right now. I ain't gonna lie to you, but this this is 
this is on a whole nother level, bro. The whole nother. Oh, my Lord. If it wasn't for modern day technology, people would be dropping out the sky. <laughs> Just know that more more often than you think in more countries than you think. <laughs> They look like ants. They look like ants, bro. Like when we would be beefing with other countries, and from a third party's perspective, when you look at them, they used to make a bomb people, and those people would just overtake every. Like, look how many. Look at the parachutes, my dog. Come on, that that's crazy. That doesn't happen because a drone could probably. You know, delete everybody, just clear all that out. One drone, psh, psh, especially if you ain't up to date. Whoever got the best technology today wins. But, you know, back then, back then you had to drop people. Draft was a lot higher. Nuclear bombs weren't perfected, you know. So there was a lot, there was a lot more to gain with a lot less to lose because at a certain point, who's willing to go there? They dropping ants. I'll drop a whole colony of soldiers. I'll draft from my current from my current country. I will draft just to take you. That that's a. Hey, if it don't match up, it don't match up. But just glad that, whew, this ain't happened to America. No offense. Like that's so. Imagine you just chilling, right? You a kid. And then you just see umbrellas just drop. You would be like, even as a dad, I'd be like, man. I can imagine as a parent, you're like, hey, bro. Look. Some umbrellas are going to fall from the sky. You're going to have to protect your family. Good luck. Well, we do have firearms. Thank God that they, 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 uh, they, we're not letting them take our guns away. Because if that does happen. There's some hell. There's all kinds of people that are gun lovers, especially in the country. You know, them country boys. Psh, this could never. Okay, they would shoot them out the sky. You know, they'd be having the gun shooting is a hobby out there. <laughs> like for real, they'd be having the paperwork, and everything. But you know, still, it's it's, it's really. I'm I'm very appreciative that this can't happen. Technology is great. <laughs> What happens when the prostate enlarges and the urine channel gets tight? You cannot be certain how fast it will grow and choke your urethra completely. I don't know what that was, and I'm not going to edit it out. I'm just going to go past it. And if anybody ever watches this, which they probably won't, you get to laugh at that. Because I know 
That's funny and weird. But yeah, dude. Like, excuse me. Um, they they laid them Soon, bodies. We were down. They laid them bodies down. And uh, we we often forget like that that was a that was a event. You know, our grandpas went through that. Our great grandpas went through that. Like, and it was by the masses. So you know, people often forget because life is comfortable, life is nice, and um, you know, it still still can happen just because technology won't let it rain people because we have drones to shoot with whatever person you're falling out of the sky. So you have to send like a jet or more drones. It's, it's drones totally. Um, Drones change the game for sure, the military ones. Um, but it, it's still possible, you know. And people are sacrificing, people are learning, people are strategizing, you know, for our betterment of society. And I would hope for the world. Um, but I think that it would be for the betterment of society um, because look at what we've, what we've done so far, at least on our side. It might not be the worst. But it, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, it might not be the best, but it isn't the worst. And I can say that because I can shoot and talk into this 4K camera with a fancy mic and a background, and like, you know, like I don't got to upload this on like Wi-Fi. I could like do it on my data plan if I wanted to. Um, so like that's a freedom that like certain people in certain areas won't get for like another 50 years. I don't know why Alexa just said that, but yeah, man. But like I was saying, you know, there are certain privileges. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There are certain privileges that, uh, that you have to notice it, it, it costs, man. And shout out to our military, shout out to all of our, uh, soldiers, military, air force, you know what I'm saying? Navy, Marines, you know, shout out to all y'all because, uh, come with a cost, dude, come with a cost because somebody going to check you gangster. Somebody going to check you. They, they're going to check you. They, they're going to check you. <clears throat> if you're, if you're not doing good, they will check you. And if you're doing good, if you are doing good, they're definitely going to check you. Definitely. On, it's going to be on site, on site. It could be passive, aggressive, direct. It could be like strategic, sh straight between the eyes, just pure, pure, pure brute force. There's many different ways, but they're, they're definitely going to check you, you know. Um, yeah, man. Um, anniversary of D-Day. Um, I do. I don't think military stuff is cool. Well, I think it's cool, but I don't like the fact that we fight as as um countries because people people die by the hundreds, by the hundreds of thousands. Especially in military families, they get hit out the worst. Like you, like they used to be just chilling and like four family member, two would get drafted, two three would enlist or more. Sometimes like six would enlist and three would get drafted, and like they just wouldn't come back, bro. Vietnam too. We got some big boy wars where like dudes just going over there. So if your difference is like, oh, I don't like the political agenda, that's fine. But regardless of whether you think it was necessary or not, um, you know, people sacrifice so you can have what you. The people sacrifice for what for for what you have today, and the reason why you can say that and and disagree is because people always just went out, you know. Regardless of how they felt, I think we have a good product. It's not it's not perfect, but it's a good product, bro. Like certain countries, women couldn't drive until like a couple years ago, which I thought was just heartbreaking, but it's the truth. Um, but yeah, man, appreciate what we got going right now. Hopefully, other areas can get together or find some compromise to where they can be uh, they can play nice with with countries they, they countries they disagree with. But the world ain't perfect. Um, but, you know, let's not get twisted. Stay ready and gotta get ready. Healthy don't hurt. I just want to take a moment to, you know, put some respect on, on everybody's name that uh, they deserve their time. You know, that their families deserve their time. They sacrifice their lives. Um, it's my channel. If you don't like videos like this, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. I'm American. You feel me? 
we do gangster cool stuff sometimes, you know. And America is really like a, it's really like a family, you know. It's like, like your brother and your sister, you might not like each other. And, you know, you like, you know, but somebody mess with your brother or sister. <laughs> you, you going, you going to get to business, you know, and that's, that's what we're capable of now. That's what we do now. So we've done then, but this, this moment in time, you know, and then back then you had to make it rain people. It's just different, bro. It's just different. They're different straight up, man. But hey, catch y'all later. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace. Uh, that was fun.